This Veterans Day has special meaning for a Salt Lake County doctor after hitting his 40-year anniversary of military service back in August. He has served among heroes in the military and heroes in health care. Tonight, Fox 13's Emily Tenser shares his reflections on what serving means to him, including his national role in protecting sailors from COVID-19. Dr. Mark Moritz is an admiral with the U.S. Navy, but he's also a podiatrist here at Mountain Star Healthcare St. Mark's Hospital. When COVID-19 became a threat to U.S. sailors back in 2020, Moritz stepped up to help combat the virus. Inside Dr. Mark Moritz's podiatry office, you'll find antiques in every room, U.S. Navy memorabilia, nautical decor, and posters from world wars. I think I have the best of both worlds. I have my private practice and I still get to work for the Navy. Moritz joined the military back in 1981, served in Beirut in the Gulf War as a combat corpsman. The Navy needed podiatrists and paid for his education. He made his way up to Navy Chief, then Rear Admiral in 2019. It was an eye-opener. You know, I never thought I'd be here. I'm honored. When the pandemic hit back in spring of 2020, Moritz got a call from the Navy asking if he was essential to the hospital. And they were like, well, if you're not COVID essential, we could absolutely use you. And I'm like a foot doctor. And they're like, no, we need an admiral and we needed you to lead our team. He was gone for six months and appointed as task force commander in charge of COVID testing for the entire U.S. Navy. I'll never forget what some of the three and four star admirals and generals told me. They had spent their whole lifetimes, you know, training for war, but they weren't really expecting a pandemic and Navy medicine uh, became the spearhead of this pandemic. Since his return back to Utah, he continues to serve as the deputy commander of the Navy Medical Forces Pacific, but he also enjoys working in his clinic, meeting other vets and bonding over their love and service for their country. I have everybody from World War II to, to Vietnam, Korean veterans. So to come back and share my stories and let them know what's going on, uh, how strong our, our sailors are, the Marines, what they were doing out there in the fleet, you know, to, to change things and, and get through this and still remain a strong nation. They're excited. He tells me he plans to celebrate Veterans Day weekend in a cabin with his family. He's also reaching out to those he served with and sharing stories and thanking them for their service. Reporting outside St. Mark's Hospital, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.